Hello everyone and welcome back to Posse Adventures. Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick info um, segment on Starlink. Now, as those of you that follow our channel would be aware, uh, we've had Starlink now for the last, I would say probably four to five months. We've traveled throughout um, Victoria, all the way up throughout back New South Wales to Northern, uh, far North Queensland. And we've tested Starlink along the way to see how it works mobile, um, using it with our caravan. Uh, and there is, um, there is video footage of the trip, which includes some of the Starlink data there. But what I'm gonna be doing is putting together um, a complete, um, a complete, all of the bits about Starlink onto this one video. Now, one of the things that we noted on our last, um, the last stop that we had, which was um, when we came back from Queensland back to Victoria, was the power usage uh, from Starlink. Now, to be fair, we did have problems with the caravan. We did, we weren't aware of it at the time, uh, but we had problems with our batteries that weren't holding a great uh, charge. Now, credit to Franklin. Franklin um, stepped up with the warranty and replaced our batteries for us. So that is now resolved. Uh, and I've been out and bought myself a meter now to find out how much power Starlink actually draws when it's plugged into your 12 volt system through an inverter. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use this um, and show you uh, basically what's, what, what it's using. So you've got some idea if it's for you or not. Um, before we start, I'm just gonna go take you to the Starlink website and just talk you through what Starlink say um, the system uses, and this is 240 volts. So this is, is relevant, but it's not really what you wanna know if you're gonna use it RV with an RV. So currently, Starlink for RV is actually the same setup that you get for your normal home Starlink. Um, hardware cost is $924. Uh, and then it's $174 a month. Um, but that can be paused at any point. So you're only paying $174 when you want it. The rest of the time you wouldn't be paying anything. Whereas with the residential, with the residential same price for the hardware but 139 dollars a month um, and that's every month um, if you wanted to go roaming I, they charge the difference basically between 139 dollars and 174 so you just top up for the month that you need it to the 174 dollars and you can use it anywhere you want <laughs> within the coverage range um, so to go to the map and have a look and see what the coverage is looking like in Australia right now, and it has got better recently. Let's just zoom in. So you now see that um, there's coverage in Townsville. I know for a fact that there's people in Cairns that are getting Apache service already. So um, there is coverage in Cairns, although albeit not completely you know, guaranteed, which is why Starlink are not stating that there's coverage there. Um, but they're talking about starting quarter one, 2023 on that one. And the coverage spans right the way across Australia fairly nicely. So uh, obviously northern half, you're going to have to wait. Um, quarter one, 2023, we should see some coverage beginning in the northern half of the country. Um, but for the rest of us, yeah, it's it's pretty well covered. Okay, so next. Um, Let's have a look and see what Starlink state. Starlink specs included the Starlink Wi-Fi router, power supply and cables um, with the rectangular dish, which is the one I've got. Power specifications, 100 to 240 volts, that's AC. Um, two amps, 50, hertz, 50 to 60 hertz, average 50 to 75 watts. Okay, so we've got the Starlink uh, router brought out to the caravan. Um, I've got it plugged into the, um, we've got, we're using a Dometic 350, uh, it's a 350 watt pure sign wave inverter. And the one that I use is the MSI 412 from Dometic. This one was fairly cheap. We bought it through Anaconda and it was just over the $100 when we bought it. But I think the price varies on it. 
um, but it's just a nice neat small unit and it does the job of running Starlink. So what I've done is I've set up the Anderson with um, this meter and this meter will hold up, uh, will, will read up to 200 amps. So as you can see with everything switched off there's no amps being drawn and the battery is sitting at 13.6 volts. Okay so let's turn Starlink on. So we'll switch it on here. And we should find, yep, the little white light is uh, is on at the bottom. So Starlink will be setting up now, be booting up, and let's see what she's drawing. Okay, so currently Starlink's only pulling 1.4 amps. So it's pretty low usage actually at this stage. Uh, she's booting up now, look, four amps. I don't know if you can, let's see if I can turn this to give you a better, oh, there we go. Now she's up to seven. So she seems to fluctuate around a little. So we got, four amps and that's obviously 53 50 54 watts five amps so she's she's fluctuating around the five the five amp mark averaging i would say but at the moment it's probably starlink is probably still trying to find a, a service i'm just going to check with my phone just to see but we are currently online with Starlink and currently Starlink is pulling uh, I was just trying to get this so that you can see it um, Starlink's pulling a just under just around the four amps three and a half to four amps and that does ramp up and down a little um, it seems to ramp up a little up and down a little but currently it's it's pretty good the fan on the um, the fan on the inverter is staying off which is because probably because it's so cold at the moment when the fan cuts in it does draw a lot more power uh, we have noticed that so if you're you know if you're using this in the in the height of summer it, you expect it to use more power because the um inverter will will switch its fan on and that will that will cause it to drain more power but yeah it gives you an idea anyway yeah four amps there And I'll show you where I've got the Starlink set up. It's not ideal where we live. Just set up over there. On the ground. It doesn't have a particularly clear view of the sky because of these trees. And unfortunately where these trees are is south. Um, now that said. Although the speeds are not up where, where you'd normally expect to see them. And I think a lot of it's to do with visibility because of all these trees. Um, we still are able to, it's much better than what we had. What we had was, you can see the satellite dish there on the roof. That was Sky Muster. Um, with Sky Muster, we were finding that what was happening was our, when we were streaming, it was constantly buffering and dropping out. With Starlink, we don't have that problem. Starlink, um, we've got three TVs, in the house all connected via um, Wi-Fi to the router to stream Netflix and things like that and we can all watch them and we don't get any buffering so proofs in the pudding there really it works it does the job um, added advantage to us is obviously we can take it away with our caravan and I didn't want people to get the wrong idea about Starlink when I 
initially said it was quite heavy on power usage. Um, I hadn't tested it and it was actually the result of the batteries that were poor, not so much Starlink. Now Starlink pulls, and this is real world measuring, um, through an inverter around four to five amps um, an hour out of your batteries, so it's not much. When the fan cuts in, you probably find it's gonna it's gonna probably be a few amps more there when the fan's cutting in. Uh, and certainly when we were using it in Queensland, it was cutting in quite a bit. So there you have it, guys. Just a breakdown with some real world data as to what uh, Starlink actually uses um, when you're out on the road. Um, bear in mind that right now it's winter and it's cold here, so the um, inverter is not cutting its fan in so of course that will change um, when you're using it uh, and when i'm out and if it is doing that i will have this power meter with me um, i will do a second test to show you what difference that makes um, but yeah so if starlink is something you've been looking at from our point of view we used it because we've got starlink or sky or sky master is the two choices we've got in our rural property in victoria starlink um, was so much better than what we were getting and paying a lot more for that we went over to Starlink. The added advantage of that is to be able to take it with us when we go traveling with the caravan. Um, but you need to know how much power it's going to use. So hopefully this has been of some use to you guys. Um, if you like our content, please give us a thumbs up on the, um, on the bottom. Um, please think about subscribing to the channel. Um, and click the bell icon to be notified of any future videos. Thanks for your time, catch you next time.